welcome to Sweet Bailey Acres. We are off on the road heading to pick up a bull that we had butchered recently. So we're excited to get him back to the house and um, show you the meat that we got off of him as well as prepare some meat tonight. So um, so why, why Dexter's? Why Dexter meat? Well, Dexter meat is? It's very marble. The fat is well with inside the meat. It is very marble. It's full of omega-3s. We raise ours uh, as grass-fed. The marbling makes the, the grass-fed beef or the, the Dexter beef in general very tender as well as um, it's full of omega-3s and that extra marbling gives it lots and lots of really good flavor. Maybe here with this one. Let me just see. They got sheep in the far pasture and cows in this one. Another reason we're excited to pick up our bull that we had butchered is because... Yummy, yummy meat. That's right, we get lots and lots of yummy meat. The Dexter um, cow, heifer, or steer brings home about 60% of its body weight, which is significantly more than your Angus and or Hereford. Leave them tied. What you think, kiddo? Got a lot of beef. Lily says she's super excited. I am super excited. <laughs> okay. Dang, Lily, you've gotten good at climbing up on that truck. Oh, no. You're the queen of the beef. says, Lily, you're home. We're back with meat, Flash. Is you excited, bud? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, I <laughs> Good boy. Four coolers full of meat. Oh, Jesus. Lily, where's your coat? It's, it's chilly out here. What you got there, boy? We're going to be eating good, huh? Okay, guys, we're going to get some of this meat out and we're going to um, see what all we got, show you guys what all we got, look at the percentage of meat to actually what we, what the hanging weight was and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So you ready to get this meat out of the coolers, Lily? Yep. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> Is this on ground too? Oh my goodness. Okay. You want to put it down there? <laughs> we got a lot of ground beef here. Oh. So when you're butchering your cow, if you're wanting to resell the actual meat from like at a farmer's market where you're at, you want to make sure you don't just go to a meat locker, that you go to an actual um, the USDA approved <laughs> butchering processing. So um, 
but we prefer to sell at this moment in time where we just sell one fourth, half, or whole cows, um, which you can see on our website. If you have not seen our website yet, we just started a new website. It's sweetbaileyacres.com. So check that out, sweetbaileyacres.com. You can see our Dexter cows there. All right, let's see what else we got. They're frozen. <laughs> Tenderizing them. We might find more later, but... Oh, dang, there's still blood. Yep, hold it up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's count how many we did. You want to put it in the freezer as we're counting it? Okay, so we just bought another freezer specifically for this bowl that we had processed because we were running out of freezer space in our other stand-up freezer. So, and I'm really glad we did because there is a lot of meat here. So we're going to add up all the ground beef and see exactly how many pounds of just ground beef that we have. How much? Okay, so what's 94 times 2? <laughs> Lily, what's 94 times 2? 78. <laughs> all right, y'all, that is 184 pounds of just ground beef. So far. Um, so far, that's just the ground beef that we've found so far. If there's any other ones, just we going to look at that's any ball we've seen. But, um, okay, so I didn't tell you about this bull. But anyways, this bull is an almost, he was almost five when we had him butchered. I think he was a month away from being five. So, and his hanging weight was um, six, 605? Yeah, 605. 605 pounds. So... All right, let's see what else we got. Tongue. A tongue? Oh, we got the organs now. I'm guessing that's uh, liver. Here's the horn. Oh, they didn't label it. Wow, that's a heart. That's a big old heart. Look at that big old heart, Lily. Uh -huh. Oh, these might be kidneys. There's two of them. And they cut it up in small portions. I, I say the liver's usually bigger than that. We got the heart. Flash, do you smell the blood? There's oh, what about this big old sucker you. right here? Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> All right. Beef brisket. Just love meat that has your name on it. But wait, there's this more. This is just for me because it has my name on it. All right, another brisket. beef brisket. Mom, can I see what? Where's your name? Oh. Right there. But wait, there's more. Oh, another beef brisket. We got small, medium, and large going on here. Right, what's next? So I do you think like? It's beef. Hey guys, so these are our beef bones for soups. This will give us wonderful, 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 wonderful uh, beef broth. Um, you can also can the juices from this that you've made. Um, extremely healthy for you. So whenever you have your your cow, your beef, or your heifer, your bull, or your steer hey. butchered, always get the bones because guys, seriously, the uh, marrow and everything that's inside the bones, the gelatin that, that is made from that, from a broth, um, is one of the most healthiest things that you can drink. So seriously, make sure you always get the beef bones. Okay, so these are all soup bones. All these? That's perfect. Look at all these soup bones. So, since they're individually packed, which is wonderful, we can do individual soups. Or I can go ahead and cook all these at one time and let them simmer in and get all the juices and everything out of them to can for future. So, there's always a couple options, but it's really nice that instead of just giving them to us in a big, huge bag, they didn't. They actually wrap them into smaller portions for us, which I think is, is um, a very nice that they do that. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So we've got our briskets, we've got our our bones for soup. Why do I, I thought we were gonna we get the bones for, to fly. Um, yeah, we should get some bones for Flash. Bones for Flash? Yeah. Like, flash, you, you deserve bones, don't you? Uh, 
He's just sleeping. All right, what's next here? We got beef round steak. Mmm, guys, a little bit of dressing, gravy. This will be yummy. We have one, two, three, four. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beef round steaks. Okay, guys, so when you're going to a meat locker, um, they may or may not. This one doesn't. They didn't put the exact poundage on all these packages. So that way you, you know exactly how many pounds. Now, if you're going to an approved processor where you can resell the meat, they will put the poundage on there. But the great thing too is we told them how thick we wanted our steaks, um, how many pounds that we wanted into the packages for the ground beef. And so you get to make those choices of exactly how you want yours to be processed. So just another thought, if you're someone who likes really thin steaks, it's easier for you to chew, whatever it may be, you can choose the option of getting those thinner or you can get them thicker. So, um, which thinner or thicker, depending on spreading out the meals. So whatever works best for your family. So having your own meat processed, you can make your own choices. All right, so we have seven uh, beef round steaks. Those are big packages too. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next, babe? Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, I have to ask them if they're ready for this. You ready for this? <laughs> I'm guessing this is Justin's favorite. I am. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite? If you have a favorite part of your bovine that you like, um, put in the comments below. Whoa, this one. Put in the comments below. We want to know what's your favorite part of your bovine. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh. All short ribs. This is all short ribs, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hey, packages. You might have counted twice. I did? That is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. No, that's right. There are thirteen packages of short ribs. So Justin's super excited. I have a feeling we're going to be cooking these tomorrow then. Maybe. Because tonight I'm getting ribeye, guys. <laughs> that is my favorite is the ribeye. Okay, but again, tell us what's your favorite. All right, we got to stack these up. Can you stack that for me? Stack yeah. them up here. Just stack them up right in here. Yeah. Oh, bro, just going to get the stuff in the freezer. Yep, you got to get everything in the freezer, kiddo. All right. Oh, no, you're wrong. This one was a chuck roast. Oh, they put in the wrong one? Okay. Yep. Yep. So okay. 12. It's 12. Speaking of chuck roast. Oh, chuck roasts are my other favorite. That's probably my second favorite as far as it comes to uh, having something processed. So red meat, chuck roast, full of that marbling, wonderful, yummy, juicy fat that gives it all its flavor. I just love a chuck roast. It is my roast of choice. So one, two, three, four. Five. Six chuck rows. There's another one. Seven chuck rows. Eight chuck rows. We're good, Kiddo. We're good. There's another one. There's another one. Nine Chuck Gross. Is there one more? Make it even? No. No? I don't think so. We got nine Chuck Gross. And what is this? A beef arm roast. A beef arm roast. Different roast. A Pike's Peak Roast. Mmm, that's yummy. Who knows what a Pike's Peak Roast? Put it in the comments below. All right, Pike's Peak Rose, sirloin tip, sirloin tip steak. Sirloin? Sirloin steaks. Yep, some beef sirloins. Okay, so there's three of us. Now, when we have company over, obviously, we can uh, get out more packages. But they also asked us during this process, what, how many do you want per package? So that also makes a difference of how many packages you would have. We chose to have three in every single package because there's three of us. 
Um, so if you have four in your family, you can have four packs. So you may have less packages uh, just because they're bigger in size. So we chose to have three of all of our steaks. Oh my goodness. I think we're kind of stop separating because there's so much here that we're just going to have to <laughs> figure it all out when we put it in the freezer. You want roast again? Okay. You are on top of the world. For real? <laughs> Some more um, beef meat for roast stew. We've got four of those. Beef meat. Actually, we haven't had meat yet. That was the bones that we had earlier. Yes. So stew meat. I'm gonna put the bones in the basket with the with the organs. Tenderloin fillets. Tenderloins. Three of those so far. All right. Two more rump roasts. Ooh, look at all those roasts. I don't know about you all, but roasts are, for me, are a perfect winter meal. All right, here comes the good stuff. You ready? What's the good stuff? The really good oh, stuff. my ribeyes, hang on. I almost think maybe I need to put some of these in baskets so we have room. Okay, I will start putting short ribs. Good stuff. <laughs> I'm ready for the good stuff. Ready for Are good you stuff? ready for the good stuff? Not that it's not all good stuff, but when it comes to the ribeyes, I can't help it. I'm partial. Remember, there's three to a pack. It's not just one per pack. That's true. You got to remember, like we said earlier, so our steaks. <laughs> you excited, Lily? Are three to a pack. So there are three steaks compressed in here, not just. Thank you. 
Is that the last of it? Okay, let's see if we can get some weights in here. Here, let's do that real quick. Whoa. Oh, we forgot some? Okay, so how many big brown sticks do we have here? We got a big old ribeye. <laughs> so, two more ribeyes. Huh. Let me get my list. I was like, I feel like I've got so many. Ribeye, ribeye, ribeye. So that's actually seven. And then a brown beef. We actually had 95. Pikes Peak. So two Pikes Peak. Uh, beef round six, how many? Six of those. So uh, six plus seven is 13. Look at that. Look at that. That's a ribeye. Curve my little face. That's huge. <laughs> and there's only three in there. Okay. Favorite. What else? Watch out, Lily. What, do you, what did the butcher tell you? Okay, y'all. So, after all said and done, the hanging weight was 605. The amount of meat and organs and things like that that we got back was 380 pounds, 380.4 pounds. That's a total of 62.87. So, <laughs> percent uh, that we got back from the hanging weight. Uh, your Hereford or your Angus or other larger breeds, you're only going to get back about 40% is what they said, 40 to 45%. So, you're actually doing more for your money and getting more back um, for your family if you go with a Dexter. But that was 62.87%, y'all. That's crazy. That is awesome. All right, time to get those steaks on our plate, and we hope you guys have enjoyed this video about the Dexter beef. And we just ask that you please subscribe to our channel, and from Sweet Bailey Acres, have a blessed day.